transitions and transformations and how to thrive in the midst of all the change that's going on in the planet at the moment. So tell me about your change. What is it that's stopping you from changing? And change requires us to endure some confusion, some uncertainty and doubt. And when you think about what's going on on the planet, all of those things are happening, aren't they? There's so much doubt and uncertainty and confusion about where to go next what to do, what to think, how to respond. And change can bring up all kinds of emotions for us. Can we, feel like, we can feel like we're in the midst of a storm or stepping off the edge of a precipice, the edge of that diving pat platform down into we don't know where we're going to be or how we're going to end up. And it's really important when we think about change because change is often the only way to personal growth and development. We're so used to being told what to do or being programmed of being oh, trying to find ourselves really that we don't know and we find it really hard to love ourselves because we're always trying to help other people. We're always blaming ourselves for the problems we're always looking for love we're always looking for all these external things but really our reality is what we believe is possible when we're born we have this beautiful innocence we have and we come into this body in pure wonder and innocence being a powerful creator and then in that first four to seven years of our life, we get programmed how to think, how to feel, what to be, who to be, what to do. And then after that, we start to self-doubt. We get confused. We don't know how we fit in the world and we're always looking for a way to fit in. So we're always seeking approval. We always look to others and depending on our childhood how much of that we do because we want that love maybe we didn't have that love in our childhood we're always seeking searching for it seeking it and so really we're we're the result of programming we're not broken we don't need fixing but we just need to step into who we truly are and so we need some internal transitions when we're starting to shift and change because we want to end the old way we were. And we want to step into a new beginning where there's enthusiasm, where there's joy, where there's love. And change happens quite quickly sometimes or slowly. Sometimes we're thrown in the deep end and our whole world's turned upside down and Everything shifts in an instant. But in other times, it's a slow process. But nothing's impossible. And impossible means I am possible. So why do we not have exactly the things that we want? Why aren't we living the life that we desire, that we deserve? And one of the things that I love to work with my clients and I talk about is, we're born in innocence. We get wounded and we start on our journey through life. And then one day we're looking, we're searching, we're seeking. We, we want to shift. We feel like life's not giving us what we want. And we're stuck in struggle, scarcity, survival, searching and self-sabotage. And we're not really getting anywhere. But people say, oh, no, you need to do this or you need to do that. But we refuse to listen because we're so <laughs> stuck on the journey that we're doing. And then one day we meet somebody or we see somebody and, and, and we go, wow, I want to be like them. What have they done? What have they got? And so we meet our new mentor. We meet somebody who's doing what we want. And so then we cross that threshold 
from the ordinary world and start to step into the special world, the special world of shift and change of being who we are. So when we start to step into that world, there's lots of enemies, allies, tests, and we start to approach our innermost cave. We start to face our shadow self, that part of us where we hold all our beliefs, all the behaviours, all the emotions, all the stories. And we have to deal with those parts of us. And sometimes it's like the dark night of the soul or the abyss, stepping off the edge of that cliff, not sure whether we're going to survive or not. But we do. And the more we do the work, the more we elevate into a new identity the more we shift and change and the work that I do working with the superconscious, we don't have to relive those stories, emotions, behaviours and beliefs. We can instantly shift out of those and providing that we do the work, take aligned action, keep ourselves accountable. And then we start to merge our unconscious, our superconscious and our self-conscious. And we realise that we're actually powerful creators. We're the predominant creative force in our lives and we can create what we want. We co-create with so many other people and that's how we design our life. And when we really step into that, We can't return to our old self. We can't return to those old ways because we're on the road to ourselves. We're on the road to who we truly are into living our true nature and purpose and becoming the most magnificent version of ourselves. And we become the master of two worlds. We live in the ordinary world, but we have that secret. We have that special knowledge because we know how to create what it is that we want. We have that power within us. And so we ascend to a higher plane. We can start to create all the things that we desire in our life. And is that you? Are you sick and tired of struggle, scarcity, survival, self-sabotage, looking for the next therapy or the next course or the next thing that you need to fix yourself and in reality we don't need fixing and the first step in that is about making new choices and the truth is we can overcome our past we can create a new future and the neurosciences and the study of epigenetics has shown that we can rewire the brain in an instant. And that's amazing. We can, if you like, burn off all the old stuff for, for new growth, for new neuronal pathways to get in our brain, allowing the old pathways to disappear and die off as we step into a new way of being, as we step into that. And it's a little bit like being that trapeze artist and letting go of that trapeze and going across to be caught by the newest version of ourselves. And that's so exciting when we start to do that because when we start to step into the emotion of the end result, We discover new lands. We discover new thought processes. We discover absolutely all these endless possibilities of who we can be, what we want. And it's so exciting when you start to do that, when you step into those emotions and when you step into what it looks like, it means that you can take that dive, create the structural tension, create the right structure. And even though it's terrifying, disorientating, you can be anxious and vulnerable and overwhelming, in reality it's exciting. 
reality opportunity abounds it's creative time it reveals our strengths and our talents and that's and, and it's like wow you can feel it you can feel it in your body and the next step is we've got to remember to unplug from our old identity and then we've got to take aligned action because we're arriving at a new beginning we've taken that step we've let go of that trapeze and we're being caught by our new identity we're in that process of supportive change for ourselves and so it doesn't have to be shock denial anger frustration it doesn't have to be that way as we end our old self our old identity doesn't have to be that way at all it can be just elevating into a new identity because we recognize those parts of us those resistances and those stories and we found a way to recode our brain to shift out of those and into who we're meant to be and so it's about seeing change differently it's about seeing the fact that we're not broken and we don't need fixing we're just stuck in an old program that no longer serves us and when we shift out of that knowing we're not broken the whole world changes and we get to see what change is happening to us if you're a star seed or a way shower or a spiritual being who knows they're here on this planet you know that your personal growth is massive and the tearing down of your old identity is what's stopping you from stepping up and into who you're meant to be but the problem is we've been trying to create an outcome for years and we still don't have it because we didn't have the right processes we didn't have the right process of change we didn't have what it is for those internal transitions because we were taking advice from people who were broken they were broke they were selling us programs to fix themselves as well as fixing us because we were told that we were broken that we needed to fix ourselves you need to be rebirthed you need to do this therapy or that therapy but in reality none of that's true we need to know and make the right choice and so the first mistake that we make is trying to heal the current reality and instead of that you have to let it go why are you hanging on to it what does it give you how does it serve you but you've got to know how to do it the second mistake that we make is we keep working on our conscious mind and we do affirmations so we're just putting another layer of brokenness on top of all the old layers because all our decisions are made from our unconscious blueprint that first four to seven years of our life is when we're programmed with our beliefs and our stories and the third mistake is focusing on new strategies and thinking that we don't know enough signing up for that next shiny object for that course for that program and it works all right for a month or two months and then we just fall back into the old patterns and, and virtually we're paying for someone else's dream life it's not our life it's their life it worked for them but how do they guarantee it works for you and the fourth mistake we make is thinking will change when we achieve some real result when I'm healthy then I can when I have more money I will when I'm in this relationship I'll feel complete and really we've got to be it before we see it we have to be it before we see it 
And the fifth mistake is we're out of emotional alignment with what we desire. You can't grow a tree of abundance when you plant seeds of scarcity. When we keep thinking, I don't have enough money to pay the rent, I don't have enough money for food, I don't have this and I don't have that, all those things keep us out of emotional alignment with what we desire. We're not choosing success. We're not choosing abundance. We're talking about what we don't have and what we don't want. So we keep re recreating it. The sixth mistake we make is thinking that you can't change. And we do know through neuroplasticity and epigenetics that we can change through the reconsolidation moment, which was discovered in 2001. And I suggest you look that up and read more about it if you want to know more because it's about that point in time in your brain where a new neuronal pathway is created and you have to do it, action steps to strengthen it and reinforce it so that it becomes the new pathway, the new way for you to think. And the last mistake, well, we make more than these, of course, is trying to do it all yourself because you need to have someone to show you the way, to support you, to facilitate you, to make sure that you're in the right mindset as you step forward with all of this. We've all got to give up something old in order to get something new and we have to enjoy the uncertainty of making those changes. And that's really exciting, except if you're someone who hates change. <laughs> Some people hate change. I'm not going to change for anybody. But we know you can change. Do you still want to be on that hamster wheel going round and round or, or are you sick of that? We really have to accept change and take those five concepts of choosing, of making a choice, of creating that structural tension, of stepping into the emotion of the end result, of unplugging from our current reality and taking aligned action. Because when we do that, we know that things are going to change. And there's two considerations when we're making those changes. Taking the aligned action is the loudest form of commitment that we can make. If we don't take the action steps, we're not really committed to change, are we? We're just, we're just going, oh, yeah, I'll try it and if it doesn't work, but I'm not going to take the steps to do it. And your past will always hold you back. Otherwise, you'd already be where you want to be. And that's all that programming that we have from childhood, societal programming, family programming. So we've got to let go of those old environments, behaviours, beliefs, family entanglements, all the old stories, the emotions, the sabotaging patterns, the rules we create for ourselves, those unconscious rules that we're not even aware of. We have to change our identity. We have to step out of our old identity of not being good enough, not being perfect, don't know enough, and step into a new identity. And we've got to let go of our feelings of incompleteness. So really when you start to do this work, you've got to give yourself 15 minutes a day. Do a daily meditation to recondition your brain and your body. And in the classes that we run, we have 24 different meditations that you can do. But we have those four patterns that stop us. One is holding on to the past. The second one, as I've already said, is if I'm healthier, then I'll. If I'm in a relationship, then I'll. If I have some money, then I'll. And it always stops us. And then there's the overthinker who has to diagnose and dissect everything before they do anything because they're either afraid of success or they're afraid of failure or they're not good enough. So they have to dissect it. I can't start this program until I've got all these balls in a row. And then there's the dabbler 
the dabbler who signs up big talker but never does anything so we really have to align our mindset and that's why we need support when we do it because all changes even the most longed for have some melancholy which is those emotions and behaviors and beliefs and stories that we've got to let let go and leave behind and what we're doing is discovering what our programming is because what we resist persists and so the six steps to stay in action is what do you really want what's your choice is it a heart's choice and then noticing the patterns that come up that stop you and then it's about stopping yourself and asking the question what would the person I'm becoming do right now what would that person I'm becoming do right now what would they do differently to what I normally do and then jump in and do it and get support get that proven support so that you can step up and into your choice because transitioning and transformations transitioning into the new you takes motivation it takes action it's a challenge there's opportunity there's processes we're looking at what's stopping us from the past we're looking at an evolution of consciousness of stepping into that new that new way of being those new thoughts those new feelings of being open to those shifts and changes that we go through as we step up and into the magnificence of who we are and if you could completely rewire your limits and learn to consciously manifest what would you create what is it that you'd create now when we do this work we only create for ourselves we're not here to save the world because let me say this when you save yourself you're also saving the world because you can't do things for the world when you haven't done things for yourself you have to become the most magnificent version of yourself so that you can step out into the world to become that politician to become that change maker to become that leader so that you're coming from a place in your heart to do it so if you don't mind i'll introduce you to the wake up and live momentum masterclass which is a 12 month transformational journey for anyone wanted to magnetically create their future so in the in the momentum masterclass which is group coaching you get weekly coaching sessions for 12 months you get a weekly peak focus session for 12 months you get access to all the meditations there's a 12-week core program to help get you focused and understanding you you get access to all the recordings and it's all on an app so you just download the app onto your phone and it's right there with you wherever you are as long as you've got internet access and so there's a create your precision focus diary to learn the nature of your reality and the, and give you a framework to work in we look at aligning your values of practical alchemy of perceptual shifting of your beliefs of a seven step emotional alignment process to really get you anchored into where you're going then there's the map method for healing trauma and challenges and then wide out negative emotions the quantum model of manifesting removing internal conflicts so it stops that civil war and then there's the magic of metaphors and how that can change your life and then we will look at family entanglements those bloodline issues that are in your dna and we look at rewriting those out of your system so that you can step into you and then we look at the matrix and how it really works and that double bubble which is a magnetic mind core program 
So this works for people who are really committed to learning a process to create predictable change. For those people who want to have total freedom, who want to be magnetic, who want to have a magnetic mind, who want to be conscious creators and learn how to work with their superconscious. So as I said, the Wake Up and Live Momentum Masterclass is 12 months and it's 12 months access to our Conscious Creators Academy, the app. There's weekly live recode sessions with a, a Conscious Creator trainer. There's weekly peak focus sessions. Oh, if I go back, sorry about that. Going ahead of myself. Then there's the meditations and that's valued at 4995. But for today, and for you listening to me, I want to give you a discount. I want to give you more and a bonus. As I said, there's the app. And in the app, we're constantly adding new challenges and, and things for you to access so that you get a really grounded and holistic approach to life. So all this totals over $15,000. And as I said, the normal price is 4995 but I want to give it to you for 1995 or, or 49 bucks a week because we're just putting all this new information into the app. So we're starting again and you'll be our first group to go through the app. And I'm so excited to offer that because, wow, well, you're the foundation people of the app. And it's exciting to offer you that because it's just $7 a day and, and you can unlock your magnetic mind. And it really will be the best decision you've ever made. And you have two options. So I want you to think about it. Do you want to stay stuck on that hamster wheel going round and round, being trapped, isolated, scared, anxious? not knowing where you're going or what you're doing or do you want to take action do you want to get control back of your life so if you want to do either of those things i really love you and thank you for listening to me and i hope you've enjoyed it and if you want to know some more how about having a one-on-one -on -one session to really get a really deep understanding of how this works of having a recode session so you'll see a link uh, where you can book a session and you can see if you want to sign up because yes I want to be part of this and I love the idea of having an app on my phone and I can access things at any time then yes sign up so there's options here for you you can apply for um, the sessions we're offering a really special deal for three sessions for $99 so we're looking at what it is that you truly want experience a recode and then a follow-up afterwards about your next steps and I'd love for you to join us for that and if you really want to just get started well we'll show you that too so don't forget you'll see a sign up link either below me or beside me and, uh, and I shall see you very soon Thanks so much for listening and have a wonderful week.